Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Isabella Bank. Welcome back to part two of Friday Night Lights. It's a dandy of a showdown in the second half of league between Lapeer and Graham Blank. Two four and one teams hoping to earn their fifth win of the season tonight. Fourth down for the Bobcat, Jake Morrow steps back, looks and finds Matthew Evans in the back of the end zone to open up the scoring. The Lightning would answer quickly. Brady Lane keeps it himself for a two yard touchdown as the student session gets pumped. Graham Blank would counter just as quick. Caden Newberry gets the end around and off he goes. He has room down the sideline and all he needs to do is win the foot race and he would just be able to do that for the touchdown as Graham Blank picks up a 35-21 victory. Saginaw United looking for their second win this season under new head coach James King. The Phoenix taking on Bay City Central, who's also looking for win number two on homecoming. The Wolves defense stepping up, long throw, and Brylin Narvaz going to snag it for the interception. Saginaw United's defense would step up as well. It's a quarterback keeper, but look at Phillip Patton. Big time tackle for loss. Now time's winding down until half. Jordan Allen going to go deep downfield and connect with TJ Stevenson. Perfect pitch and catch for the touchdown, but a missed PAT would be costly. Bay City Central wins a close one, 7-6. Frankenmuth looking to stay unbeaten. The Eagles meeting up with John Glenn tonight. Bobcats take a shot early. Garrett Busser launches it downfield. Connects with Bradley Boyk for a massive game. Save drive. John Glenn going to hand it off to Garrett Hillboard. He gets to the outside. He's in for the touchdown. Bobcats lead Frankenmuth 7 0. But the Eagles respond on the next drive. They hand it off to Hagen Washer. He's going to cut it up and get in for the score as Frankenmuth goes on to defeat John Glenn 41 13. Nouvelle Catholic Central is another team looking to improve to 6-0. The Panthers are young but hungry as they met up with Hemlock tonight. Huskies with a long fourth down. Chad Brown going to throw a screen to Steven Katzenberger. Tries to fight for the first down, but he doesn't quite get it. Nouvelle would take over. Ian Ziegelman is going to create some space, buying time, finding Parker Kingsbury. What a throw and what a play for the first down. The Panthers would cap off the drive on this play, giving it to Owen Vance. Takes it into the end zone as Nouvelle Catholic Central gets the win tonight, 42 to 8. Last but certainly not least, a non conference showdown between Davison and East Lansing. East Lansing on third and long, looking to make a play, but Dylan Richardson gets the, in the backfield on a blitz and brings them down for the sack. Late in the first half, Jackson Dodge brings the defense with him to the right. Turns around and finds A.J. Hill coming the other way. He would make a rainbow as he came out and goes back to the middle for the 27-yard touchdown to get the fans fired up. East Lansing looking for something before the half. The ball comes to Cortez Porter, who loses the ball, but great concentration to find it and get the interception for the long return as Davidson picks up a 35-10 victory. We may be finished with highlights, but we still have one more segment on tonight's edition of Friday Night Lights. After the break, we'll check out our play of the night. Plus, we'll announce our finalists for next Friday's Game of the Week. Stick around.